Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to configure a Layer 3 switch and the router for when PCs access the Internet. As shown in the figure, PC1 and PC2 access the Internet through a switch and a router. The configuration roadmap is as follows. Configure the switch as the gateway to implement forwarding across network segments through a VLAN IF interface and as the DHCP server to allocate IP addresses to users. Configure NAT so that PCs can access the Internet. The AR is used as an example. The configurations of other routers are similar. Let's move to the configuration procedure. First, let's see the configuration procedure of the switch. There are four steps. Step 1. Configure interfaces connected to PCs as access interfaces and add them to VLAN 2 and VLAN 3, respectively. Configure corresponding VLAN IF interfaces. The IP addresses of the VLAN IF interfaces are PC's gateway addresses and in the same network segment as the IP addresses of the PCs. Step 2. Configure the interface connected to the router as an access interface and add it to VLAN 100. Configure the corresponding VLAN IF interface. The IP address of VLAN IF 100 is 192.168.100.2. Step 3. Configure a default route. The next hop address of the default route is 192.168.100.1. That is the IP address of the router interface. Step 4. Configure the DHCP server. The DHCP server uses the interface address pool to allocate IP addresses to users. The configured DNS server address is a public one. In practice, use the DNS server address allocated by a carrier. Let's see the configuration procedure of the router. There are five steps. Step 1. Configure an IP address for the interface connected to the switch. The IP address is the next hop address of the switch's default route. Step 2. Configure an IP address for the interface connected to the Internet. The configured IP address and the public IP address are in the same network segment. Step 3. Configure a default route and a return route. The next hop address of the default route is 200.0.0.1, public IP address. The next hop address of the return route is the IP address of the switch's uplink interface. Step 4. Configure NAT so that intranet users can access the internet. Here, NAT is only valid for source IP addresses in the network segment 192.168.0.0. NAT can be used on GE002 in the outbound direction. The switch and router configuration is complete. Let's move to the operations. Step 1. Configure IP addresses and gateway addresses for PCs. The IP address of PC1 is 192.168.1.2 and the gateway address is 192.168.1.1. The IP address of PC2 is 192.168.2.2, and the gateway address is 192.168.2.1. Step 2. Configure an IP address and a gateway address for the PC on the public network. The IP address is 200.0.0.1, and the gateway address is 200.0.0.2. Step 3. Configure the switch. Step 1. Configure interfaces connected to PCs and corresponding VLAN IF interfaces. Run the VLAN batch command to create VLANs and batches. Add Gigabit Ethernet 002 and Gigabit Ethernet 003 to corresponding VLANs as access interfaces. Finally, create VLAN IF2 and VLAN IF3 and configure corresponding IP addresses. Step 2. Configure Gigabit Ethernet 001 connected to the router as an access interface and add it to VLAN 100. In doing so, the packets exchanged between the switch and router do not carry tags. 
create VLAN IF100 and configure the IP address 192.168.100.2 for VLAN IF100. Step 3. Configure a default route. The next hops of all forwarded layer 3 packets are the router. Step 4. Enable the DHCP server function on VLAN IF2 and VLAN IF3. Use the interface address pool to allocate IP addresses to downstream users. Configure the DNS server address. The switch configuration is complete. Let's look at the router configuration. Step 1. Configure the IP address 192.168.100.1 for the downlink interface. Step 2. Configure the IP address 200.0.0.2 for the uplink interface connected to the internet. Step 3. Configure a default route and a return route used to guide layer 3 traffic forwarding. Finally, configure NAT to translate private IP addresses to public IP addresses. So far, the router configuration is also complete. Let's check whether functions are available. Check whether the user PC can ping the PC on the public network. PC1 and PC2 can ping the PC on the public network. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, All About Switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, and click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.